Hey there, this is Steven from Gradelink and just want to take a minute to walk through the demo account with you. So this video I'll divide into three sections. One is on the students area. How do I uh, track student record, including like the major or program they're in uh, and notes after they graduate. Second would be on the classes. How do I do the scheduling and the, um, the course codes and so on. And the third would be the transcript. How do I know which classes they've taken and which ones they have to take. So here in the first area, I'm on the students area, and there's really three ways that I could track the program. So I'm just kind of illustrating all three. So I have uh, my major and degree fields. So right here and go ahead and fill these in. Uh, second option is I could just basically say, okay, this is program one, two, and three. I just basically call this one, two, three. Uh, and that one's actually really helpful because you can sort students by saying I need students who are in program one, program two, or program three. Uh, the third way to do it is to use the division. Um, and so I just basically, you wouldn't have to do all three of these, but I just do it this way. So the dance starts with A. I said if your uh, program one, you know, was A, because A starts with advanced. Uh, and then if you were in the second one, the culinary ones, then it starts with C. And if you're in the hospitality, I just put. So I realize these overlap, so you wouldn't necessarily need all of them, but it's just three different ways. Um, okay, second would be, how do I take notes on the student after they graduate? So I can just put basically your after graduation notes go here. So that's one way. You would just get a text box and you can run a custom report spreadsheet that has another name in column one and notes in column two. Uh, and you could add other data that you want. Another would be all you could add a tag, say um, after graduation. Graduation, you can go ahead and just put in whatever position they have there. Um, that gibberish is meant to be the job title that they have. And so I could, again, I can run a custom report that has like their name and their whatever graduation that they're doing next. Uh, so those would be two different ways. Let me just take a second and I can show you two ways you can run a report like that. Go to view export, go here, roster, and uh, I can run by tags. I have like all my custom groups, but then I probably have my gibberish ones here as well. And I can just hit the export Excel icon right here. That's one way. Second way is you could just go down here to like student roster and you'd say, okay, I need the name and I need the, uh, the note. And you could choose whether you're looking at just the active students or not. Oh, it's right here, the inactive students if I want. I can run a by class that they're taking. Uh, and I'll grab that. Next is the classes. So in this one, I want to talk about how do you set up classes and name them and how do you do the scheduling and track which um, graduation requirements each class meets. So. I'm operating under the assumption that one class would meet a graduation requirement from more than one program. It could be part of the hospitality program or the culinary arts one, and it'd be the same class. So I've just named some of them, English 100, hospitality, and so on. So for each one, each class has two names. So I have here this first one, class title, this is an internal name. It only shows up to staff. Teachers, administrators will show up on your drop-down menus and everywhere within the program. The second title, which is Composition 1, that's what the students see when they log into their portal, that shows up on their transcript, shows up on all of the reports that are facing the student. Okay, so I have a teacher, and I can have additional second teacher. That's fine. Okay, next is, you'll see down here, the graduation category um, is picking category, so I can basically pick one of the categories. I have them on a drop-down menu for, just for easy reference. Um, so if I make a new class, like new class, I have down here in my grad category and sort of pick which one it goes to. All right, so that's how I set up the class. The next one is how do I set up the grad category? Well, you might've noticed that there's a little gear icon here. Click the little gear icon, add a category. Um, so I'll just put like, uh, I don't know, like math 200. And I'll give it the number of units that are required to meet. And I can put any kind of uh, which is helpful, like to list the name of the class and, the class and save. Now, one thing that I'm doing, since so you have more than one program, is I'm putting the letters uh, C A P for uh, that's the culinary arts program, or H T P, which would be the uh, hospitality program, 
or ACH, which was the Advanced Culinary and Hospitality. So if I put all three of these codes after the name map 200, then what will happen is when I get to the transcript section, which will be next, then this class will show up regardless of which program they're in because it's saying it applies to all three of these programs. Yeah. If I say it only goes to the culinary arts program, then what it means is that uh, when I run out a transcript for someone who's in the culinary arts program, it will only show uh, math 200 if you're in culinary arts. So if you're not in culinary arts, it's not going to show. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I realize I have a tip over here. All right. And the last one is the scheduling. Uh, so you will do a good job of uh, letting you put in a schedule and letting you know of, of issues that you might have, but it will not schedule or suggest changes for you. So schedule is really simple. You class, it's schedule, uh, I'm sorry, schedule. And you can pick if you want simple schedule and meets every day at a certain time. Most likely you'll put a weekly schedule, which means you can say that it meets like, let's say this, this is Monday, Friday, but I could say it doesn't meet Tuesdays and it doesn't meet Thursdays. And you can adjust all the time like that. Go down to a bigger period for your location. Customize that. You can change the color and you can even choose if it's in person or All right, last section would be transcript area. So when I come over here to the transcript, or I run a transcript, I'm gonna go watch here, you can go to transcript options. And yeah, you have your three programs in. And uh, so I'm gonna choose CAP for now. And now I'm gonna go and view the transcript for a certain student, like Susan B. Anthony, and it shows down here their grad requirements. And you'll notice that all these grad requirements have the word CAP in the title. Uh, and it's because the way I've set it up is that you run it using this option. It says only shows the grad requirements that are for CAP. And you may have met one of them, but it may have not. In this case, you met all of them. If I change the option to, let's say, if you were to switch majors, you still completed those classes. Um, this will switch it automatically. And it'll just sort of show that, okay, she's done two out of four. Oh no, she's done four out of two. Okay, she's doing really, okay, here. Here's two, she's required and she's met done zero so let's listen to the class hopefully that makes sense down here where it has kind of the shorthand name of the class that's up to you if you want to have the shorthand name or the long version you can just change that anytime you want right here this title here is what shows up here so you can just sort of make that be whatever you want hopefully yeah there you go. that area click down i love Anyways, that was kind of a quick run through of everything. 